Guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about access modifiers in Java. There are two types of access modifiers in Java: access modifiers and non-access modifiers. The access modifiers in Java specify accessibility or a scope of a data member, method, constructor, or class. There are four types of Java access modifiers in Java: private, default, protected, and public. So we'll explain them one by one. First, let's look at the public modifier. So I've got this main method and main class here. I'm going to create a new class. I'll type student. All right, so we got the new class here, right? So here now, I will declare an integer variable. I will say id, okay? And then I will say string and then I'll say name, all right? Okay, so we have two variables now. So if I go back to my main method, main class, sorry, so I can create a student. So I'll say stu is equal to new and then student. All right, so I've created an object to use that class now. So I can do stu dot id, all right? And I can, uh, make integer value with that so is equal to let's say one is semicolon at them then stu dot name that's a string variable is equal to so I'll type let's say YouTube okay and then we can print them out by using s out right so let's say I'll type stu dot id okay plus stu dot name all right so let's run the program all right so one youtube right let me explain to you right now so these variables don't have any access modifier right now java will automatically add a default access modifier so if you don't have any access modifier it will be a default modifier will be added to these variable so let's apply a modifier now so i would say public all right and then i would say public here as well so now what public means is let me explain to you uh give me a second okay so the public access modifier is accessible everywhere it has the widest scope amongst all the modifier all right so with the public uh modifier you can uh, it can be accessed in class in package and outside the package by subclasses all right only so outside the package yes it can be accessed outside the package as well and uh, default okay the default can be accessed in a class within a package and not outside the package by subclasses all right so only with the subclasses but without subclasses not in any outside package all right so outside package not available so private is within the class not in a package not outside the package not even by subclass and not outside uh, in outside the package so it's not available everywhere except within the class protected all right so protected is available in class within the package uh, outside the package by subclass only and not available outside the package all right so the public is available everywhere right so if i go back and run the program i'll get the answer one youtube okay all right so now let's look at uh we have talked about default if you don't uh, declare any access modifier it will be default automatically and public is available everywhere all right so let's say i will change that to private all right and then I'll go back here, let's say private. And now I'll go back to my main.java and try running the program. Now I'm gonna get the error. So the error is uh, ID has a private access modifier in example.java.student. So it is now private and available only for this student class. So to access these variables now, we have to use encapsulation. We have to use setters and getters uh, method. So I'll go to refractor and I'll click on encapsulation field 
and I will select both of these variables and let's say refactor so we got uh, public int id get id method it automatically made encapsulation for us so now let's go back to a java class and then i will can add let's say just get rid of this all right so now i can add stu set value method now stu dot set name okay sorry set id so id i'll say one okay and then down here let's get rid of uh, this data and it says two dot set name it's a string so i'll type youtube all right now let's run the program again and it's got nothing because we haven't printed out yet so i'll type s out all right and then i'll type stu dot okay just type id now stu dot get id and concatenation stu dot get name right and let's just print it out as you can see that we got the answer now one youtube so while you use the protective you need to use a getter and setter method that's called encapsulation i've already made a separate video for encapsulation so if you want to know about encapsulation uh, you can go watch that one all right so we talked about uh, private public and default so what about the protected access modifier so protected access modifier is accessible within the package and outside the package but through instance uh, inheritance only that was a quick video of uh, access modifier i hope you understood what does that mean so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe